Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and today I'm going to share a couple of my favorite one light fashion setups. Believe it or not, fashion lighting does not need to be complicated in order to be striking or high fashion. Also, one light doesn't mean it needs to be boring either. In fact, many of the lighting setups on the covers of the biggest fashion magazines, they're achieved with a single light. So I'd like to share three of my favorite fashion lighting setups that you can achieve with one light, but here's what's great about these three setups. They all look totally different. They have totally different vibes. Uh, for example, one could be for a commercial catalog shoot, another a dramatic portrait, another one a fashion editorial. I'm going to be shooting all of these images with the Canon R5 and the RF 24 to 105 lens. Oh, and obviously just a single strobe. So let's take a look. A simple large umbrella with diffusion is a great way to get soft sculptural light and it's really popular in fashion magazines, especially in black and white. So what's great about this one light setup is it actually gives you a lot of control. You can shape the light. So let's take a look. Uh, here I'm shooting on a fashion gray background, but I can make it look quite different. By feathering the light towards the background or away from the background, I can change the tonality. So for example, when I angle the light towards the background, it becomes lighter. And then when I feather the light away, more back towards camera, I can make it appear almost completely black. For this setup, I placed the light off to the side because I wanted to create a little bit more sculpting, a little bit more drama, and then I converted it to black and white. And then I feathered the light away from the background. So the result, it looks rich and luscious and dramatic, but it's super simple. Next, we're going to go in a totally different direction, but we're going to use the same modifier. So take that large umbrella with diffusion and we're going to bounce it into a white V-flat. The result is super soft light that bounces all the way around the space and just this glowing look. All right, so here's how it works. You can bounce the umbrella off of the V-flat and that creates a really big light source. But if the light is angled a little bit upward, it'll probably also bounce off the ceiling, which spreads the light even more. And if the walls in your space are white and they're close to your set, well, it bounces off the walls as well. It fills in the shadows, the light spreads everywhere, it bounces everywhere, and it's just a really beautiful result. Notice here that I switched the background and I've chosen a Savage Universal beige background. The reason I did is it complements the clothing, but really any light colored background will be perfect. I personally base it off of the clothing or really the vibe that you're going for. This setup, it is great for really soft portraits or maybe commercial catalog shoots, and it is a very popular look right now. You'll notice that for this setup, when I shot it, I actually added another white V-flat, not just the one the light's bouncing off of, but another one to the right-hand side of the frame. This bounces even more light, and it gives you a really flat result, which I needed because I'm shooting in a bigger space and the white wall wasn't right up against the subject. All right, for our last one light setup, we're going a completely different mood and different direction. It's high key, it's graphic, it's hard light, and it's a bit more editorial. Now, although hard light is usually avoided in the portrait world, over here in the fashion world, we love it. It creates drama, crisp shadows, it looks great in high contrast black and white. So for this setup, I am going to be shooting on savage paper, and I'm going to use a super white background. All right, begin by placing the subject right up against the background. And there's two reasons for this. You usually don't want to do that, but by placing the subject towards the background, it allows me to achieve a bright white background, even if I'm only using a single light. So basically to get into the uh, science of it, there's no fall off of light, so it stays bright. Now, the other reason in this case, I'm placing her right up against that background is because I purposefully want shadows. I know that I can play around with them because the hard light is going to create defined shadows on the background and I can start playing around with the poses and the shapes of the body. And I'm just using a bare bulb to illuminate the subject, no modifiers at all. But here's the weird part. For this particular shot, I actually placed the strobe on a floor stand near the ground. And I was always taught you never want to use up light because it's monster light and it, it's just not flattering, but it makes sense here because I'm playing with shadows. That low angle of light creates larger shadows that show up behind the subject on the background paper. Now, I decided that this shot was going to be a high contrast black and white. And for that reason, I added a black V flat to the left hand side of the frame because it made the shadow on the background be even darker and richer. It's not necessary, but for my concept, I thought it created a better result. Now, the last ingredient for this shot to work is the model has to create interesting poses with her body. Uh, I really need interesting shadows behind her. I also asked her to keep her chin down just a little bit and towards the light 
because it would be more flattering on the face. These three shots, they're completely different moods, but they're all done with a single light. Remember that fashion photography is not just about the lighting. The lighting's important, but it's how the lighting and the hair and makeup and the pose and the color choices, all of these creative decisions work together. Now, lighting is obviously important, but it doesn't have to be complicated to be beautiful and to have impact. Now, if you'd like to see the gear that I used in this video to create these three setups, check out the links below or visit adorama.com. And by the way, uh, I have a lighting recipe guide dedicated to commercial and fashion lighting photography. So if you want more simple but effective setups, you can check them out at learnwithlindsay.com. And of course, don't forget to stay tuned here because I'm going to be continuing my series on fashion and beauty photography, and I have a ton more content coming your way. So I'll see you next time.